Ever wondered why people from different parts of the world behave differently? Or why certain gestures mean different things in different cultures? Today, we're delving into the fascinating world of cultural differences in behavior. Welcome to Human Inside TV. My name is Ashra and today, we're exploring the captivating topic of how culture shapes human behavior. Imagine a world where every corner you turn reveals a new way of life, a new set of customs, and a new way of behaving. That's the beauty of cultural diversity. So, how does culture influence the way we act? Let's break it down. Let's talk about norms. Every culture has its own set of norms. These are the unwritten rules that guide our behavior. For example, in some cultures it's customary to greet someone with a kiss on the cheek, while in others, a handshake suffices. In my culture, it's rude not to bow when greeting someone. We always take off our shoes before entering someone's home as a sign of respect. These norms are deeply ingrained in us from a young age, shaping the way we interact with others. Next up, let's talk about communication styles. Did you know that the way we communicate can vary drastically from one culture to another? In some cultures, direct communication is valued, while in others, indirect communication is preferred. For instance, saying no outright might be considered impolite in certain cultures, so people may use subtle cues instead. Now that we've scratched the surface, let's dive deeper into the colorful tapestry of cultural differences in behavior. Picture this. You're invited to a dinner party in Japan. As you enjoy your meal, you notice everyone slurping their noodles loudly. Now, in many Western cultures, slurping is considered impolite, but in Japan, it's a sign of appreciation for the food. This illustrates the concept of cultural relativity. What's considered normal or polite in one culture may be perceived differently in another. Let's talk about personal space. In some cultures, like those in Latin America or the Middle East, people tend to stand closer together during conversations, while in cultures like those in North America or Northern Europe, more personal space is preferred. Understanding these differences can help prevent unintentional discomfort or offense during interactions with people from different cultural backgrounds. Now, let's shift our focus to the concept of individualism versus collectivism. In individualistic cultures, such as those in Western countries, independence, personal achievement, and self-expression are highly valued. On the other hand, in collectivistic cultures, such as those in many Asian and African countries, the emphasis is on group harmony, loyalty, and interdependence. In my culture, decisions are often made collectively with input from the entire community. In my culture, it's important to stand out and pursue your own goals, even if it means going against the group. These cultural differences can profoundly influence our behavior in various aspects of life, from family dynamics to work environments. Let's not forget about food etiquette. Did you know that in some cultures it's customary to leave a little food on your plate to indicate that you're full, while in others, finishing everything is a sign of appreciation? These small gestures may seem insignificant, but they hold deep cultural meaning and reflect the values and beliefs of a society. Let's discuss social customs and rituals. Every culture has its own unique customs and rituals that play a significant role in shaping behavior. Whether it's a traditional wedding ceremony, a religious festival, or a family gathering, these customs reinforce cultural identity and bring people together. From religious ceremonies to annual festivals, Traditions play a crucial role in preserving cultural identity and heritage. These rituals often involve specific behaviors, symbols, and practices that are passed down from generation to generation. Participating in this festival is a way for us to connect with our ancestors and honor our cultural heritage. These traditions have been a part of our family for centuries. They help us bond as a community and celebrate our shared identity. Through these rituals, communities reaffirm their values, strengthen social bonds, and create a sense of belonging. Every culture has its own set of values. These are the deeply held beliefs and principles that guide the behavior of its members. Whether it's the importance of family, the pursuit of success, or the reverence for nature, these values shape our attitudes and actions in profound ways. In my culture, 
respect for elders is paramount. We are taught to always show deference and gratitude towards our elders. In my culture, hard work and perseverance are highly valued. Success is seen as the result of dedication and effort. By understanding the core values of different cultures, we gain valuable insights into their way of life and perspective on the world. Let's talk about the concept of time. Ever heard of time orientation? Time orientation refers to how different cultures perceive and value time. In some cultures, being punctual is highly prized, while in others, a more relaxed attitude towards time is common. Understanding these differences can help us navigate cross-cultural interactions more effectively. Thanks for joining me on this cultural journey. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more fascinating insights. Until next time, stay curious.